Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word and the Daily Prophetic Word for Tuesday, the 19th of November 2019 is pray, pray. I send the spirit of Elijah to convict you of unrepented sins or about sins that need more repentance. When you feel convicted, then pray and repent. The spirit of my son is coming now to take his bride. A bride without spot and wrinkle. That is the reason why the spirit of Elijah goes before him to remind you of dark spots on your garments. Pray, pray. As in the times of Elijah, I am drawing a line now between my sheep and the goats. You need to choose a side right now. Either choose the world and the enemy or my heavenly kingdom. Reject the worldly offers, your careers, your games, your entertainment. Come out of the world and out of the control of Jezebel. Pray, pray. If you stay in the world, your garment cannot be white as snow. My son is coming now to search for his bride, and he will knock at your door. If you open, he will judge your heart, to see if you are worthy to escape all those things that will come onto the earth. Pray, repent, and be ready for my son to knock. And this was a daily prophetic word for Tuesday, the 19th of November 2019. Pray. This is a time. Elijah is already here. The spirit of Elijah is there. Like I am, I'm convicted of many, many of my old sins right now. And many people are too. I can see it from YouTube videos. The spirit of Elijah is a forerunner. Now Jesus is following very shortly thereafter to take his bread, maybe a few days, maybe this week, and then he will remain for 40 days on the earth to look for the bread. And then the ascension will take place together with the bread into the clouds. And then whoever is left will go through the seal tribulation period until the sixth seal when Jesus will come down with Mount Zion and his father because the people will hide in the mountains because they are afraid of the one that will sit on the throne of our father and the lamb, Jesus Christ. So they will see something huge coming. That is maybe what people talk about their Nibiru. This is an actually Mount Zion that will come down. You have to read Micah. It's explained everything about, about Mount Zion. And there are so many verses about Zion in the Bible. Just make a Google search. The word Zion in the Bible. And then read the verses. And you will see a pattern coming up. That Mount Zion in the last days will come down. And the Lord is there. And the Father is there. And then they will rebuild the temple in Jerusalem. When he is here. It's Mount Zion. Still, it is a heavenly place, Mount Zion, even if it comes down to the earth. Because it, I don't think that it will touch down somewhere, but it will be somewhere over the earth or in parallel or whatever. But it will be still a heavenly place. In the same way, I believe that the glory of the Lord came down onto Mount, Zion, onto Mount Sinai. That is the same thing. That is the same. There also Mount Zion came down and onto the top of Mount Sinai. This is the same pattern that we will see with Mount Zion coming down. Maybe even will be the same place at Mount Sinai. In Egypt, maybe it will be the same. We will see. Either Egypt or Saudi Arabia, no matter where it was. We will see. But pray, pray. I am just a voice in the wilderness asking you now. Jesus is coming. The kingdom is at hand. We are preparing the way now for the Lord to come to take the bride. And then we are preparing the people to be raptured into paradise. This is our work. And for that we will restore the altar to its former glory. And bring the people together as it was before during the time of persecution. In the book of Acts. Because the church will enter persecution very soon. When the Antichrist will come up. He is anti-Christian. That's the reason why he called Antichrist. And persecution will start. So 
We have to come together as the people in the Book of Acts if you want to survive that. I have made many videos about it. People, you have to listen to the messages. You have to get an understanding. And if you have questions, just send them to our email, our ministry email, triplegrace55 at gmail.com. Also, the links are there. All the links are in the description box below. Come forth. Share your resources. Support the ministry. Let us spread over to the whole world. Let the people pray, repent, restore the altar. Come out of the world and walk the narrow and righteous path towards Mount Zion. And you can be part of it. If you are not part of the bride, you can be part of the remnant church as will go into the rapture. But you have to do something. It will not come from alone. Many people will wake up when the bride is gone and say, why have I not been taken? Then they will realize faith and action, faith and righteous deeds is what is required. Anyway, I thank you that you have listened to this message. Please pray, repent. Jesus is coming right now. This is the time. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow. May God bless you and your family abundantly. My name is Michael. I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. Have a great day. Maranatha.